The tool shank and the tool holder can now be defined directly from a pattern. This means that complex tool assemblies can be quickly and easily created using the wireframe curve editor or via imported profiles. So let's open a simple example and define our shank and holder using a pattern. So on the screen I have a 16mm n mm tool that currently does not have a shank and a holder defined. If we expand our pattern tree you can see that I have pre-created a shank profile and a holder profile. Both of these could have been easily created in our curve editor. If I double click on the shank on the screen you can see it opens up the curve editor which gives us access to a comprehensive suite of line, arc and curve creation and editing tools. Alternatively the pattern profiles could have been imported uh, from an external system. Once we've generated the profile for our shank geometry then to define the shank itself and attach it to the tool we simply go to the shank tab on the tool form specify the pattern that we want to use to define our shank and click on the create shank button. So the profile is revolved and we get the 3D shank geometry defined. Exactly the same process for the holder simply select the holder profile and click on the create holder from pattern and the holder is revolved and added to the end of the shank. As well as using individual patterns for the shank and for the holder, we can create a single pattern to define the tool assembly which has separate segments for the shank and the holder. So to show you the, this alternative method, I'm just going to delete the current holder and also delete the current shank and just close uh, the tool form for a second, switch off the two separate patterns for the shank and the holder and I'm going to activate and draw a cross-sectional view of both my shank and my holder in a single pattern. So this pattern contains two segments, one for the shank and one for the holder. You'll notice that this time this pattern is in the XZ plane whereas the individual patterns for the shank and the holder were in the XY plane. So the limitation we had in previous versions of where any, pat any shank or holder geometry must have been defined in the XY plane has been removed. So going back to our sectional view of our tool assembly to convert this now into actual